shout out to all the dedicated and hardworking teachers out there. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, you will learn what is a strategic intervention material and how to make one. Make sure to watch this video till the end. What is a strategic intervention material? Strategic intervention materials, popularly known as SIM in Philippine education, is an instructional material meant to reteach concepts or topics which are considered least mastered by the students. SIM are materials given to learners to help them master a competency-based skill which they were not able to develop during the regular classroom teaching with minimal intervention or guide of a teacher. SIM consists of both learning strategies for students and content enhancement routines for teachers. It is a multifaceted approach to help students to become independent and successful learners. Take note, topics must be supported with a study. It requires less teacher supervision. SIM must be easy to reproduce or replicate. There are five parts of a strategic intervention material. The guide card, activity card, assessment card, enrichment card, and reference card. Guide card presents the big picture. It gives an overview of the lesson and presents the focus skills, mentions the learning competency, and mentions the concrete outcome or product students are expected to demonstrate. It builds on prior learning or the prerequisite skills, engages the learner's interest, and leads the learners towards the performance of the task. Activity card defines the task that the learner should undertake in order to develop a skill. The task is competency-oriented and may be an individual or a group work. The purpose of the task is to provide enough practice for the learner so that he can perform the skill automatically. The assessment card helps the learner measure his or her level of mastery of the skill upon completion of the task. It provides exercises, drills, or activities that allow students monitor their learning and use feedback about their progress. It is formulated in standard test formats to give students practice in test-taking techniques. The result of the assessment identifies the knowledge or skills that the learner may need to enhance or develop further. The enrichment card extends learning by providing additional exercises for further application of knowledge or skill. It may also contain additional information to extend knowledge. The reference card provides additional content to the coverage in the textbook. It may also list resources that the learner may refer to for further reading. Here's a sample strategic intervention material in science I made last July 2018, which luckily made me a winner during the Math and Science Fair 2018 Science Sim competition Elementary teacher category from the district level, congressional level, division level, up to the regional level. Cover page. Ayan. So, dapat guys, cover page pa lang, gandahan yun na at dapat presentable na siya tingnan. Table of contents. Dito po makikita ang lahat ng nilalaman ng sim you guys. Title card, dapat unique at catchy siya tingnan or basahin. Dapat ma-excite ang mga bata to answer the activities. Task card, dito po makikita ang main task at saka subtask. 
So here's the guide card. Ito po ang magiging gabay ng mga bata sa activity na kanilang gagawin. Next, activity card. Ito po ang activity na sasagutan ng mga bata. Dapat exciting at challenging. At dapat maraming activities. Next is assessment card. Ito po ang sukatan kung ano ang natutunan ng mga bata at meron ba silang natutunan sa activity na kanilang ginawa. Next is enrichment card. Ito po ay additional exercises ng mga bata to extend their knowledge. Pwedeng puzzles or any activity na challenging para sa kanila. And of course, dapat may answer key din. Reference card, dito nyo po ilalagay ang lahat ng references na ginamit nyo mapalibro or sa internet man. Progress card, dito malalaman kung ano ang performance ng bata. Excellent ba? Very good, good, fair, or needs improvement. Then, production cost, dito makikita kung magkano lahat ng expenses mo sa paggawa ng SIM. Dapat po maliit lang ang gastos para pasok po sa kriteriya na easy to reproduce. Proof of conduct, ito po ang magpapatunay na totoo po na nag-conduct ka ng SIM sa mga bata. Yun po ang mga bata na may least master skill. Mas maganda din kapag gagawa ka ng graph to show the difference between the pre-test and the post-test. Para din makita kung may improvement ba ang bata o wala. And the last but not the least is the validation letter as proof na approved ito by your principal or PSDS. The following photos are not to brag but to inspire, encourage, or challenge everyone to do more and achieve more. If I did it, you too can make it. Bear in mind that making a sim is not about competition or winning. The essence of making a sim is to help learners improve their academic performance. If you learned something from this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more interesting educational videos. This is Teacher Chana. Thank you once again for watching.